Hi friends, our today's topic is compound interest part 2 and in this video we are going to learn few of the questions which is very important and has been already asked in Andhra Bank clerk and the other banks and here we are going to use a shortcut which is very difficult to get on the internet on the Google. So please try to understand the shortcuts and implement in the problems, right? So what is the questions here? Question number one is what is the compound interest obtained on an amount of rupees 4000? So principal is given 4000, rate is given 5% and time is given 3 years. So in the previous video, we had calculated compound interest for 2 years. In this video, we are going to calculate compound interest for 3 years. So what is the formula here is compound interest for 3 years is equals to 3A plus 3B plus C. If you remember for 2 years, 2 years it was 2A plus B, right? And for 3 years, 3A plus 3B plus C derived from the binomial theorem, right? What is A here? A is equals to P into R by 100. What is B here? A into R by 100. What is C here? B into R by 100. If somebody will ask you what is D if in 4 years or 5 years if D comes, so D is equal to nothing but C into R by 100, right? Okay. Now let's use the formula and simplify this question. So 3 into A. A is what? P into R by 100. P is equal to 4000 into R is equal to 5 divided by 100 into 3 B. So B is what? A into R by 100. So this whole thing is nothing but A for me. So 3 into 4000 into 5 by 100 into 5 by 100, right? Now, this whole thing is what? This whole thing is B for me, right? Okay. 3A plus 3B and plus C. C is equal to what? B into R by 100. So this is what? B 4000 into 5 by 100 into 5 by 100 into 5 by 100. I will tell you one interesting thing here. See, when you are calculating C, the value of C will be very small that you can simply ignore it if your option is very much far. Let's understand how we can ignore it, right? Okay, so first if we'll simplify, double zero will take double zero. Now 3 into 40 is 120, 120 into 5 is equal to 600, right? Okay, and now this 20 will take 20 off, 10 will take 10 off, 5 twos are 10 and 2 twos are 4. So 5 into 2 is 10, 10 into 3 is 30, right? So you, what we got here is 630, right? And see this value will be very small. Why? Because see it is getting divided by 100, 100 and 100, right? Let's try to simplify it. 20 will take 20 off, 10 will take 10 off, 5 twos are, right? And 5 twenties are, and 2 2 is what? 4, cancel. And now 5 into 2. So you'll get 1 by 2 which is nothing but 0.5. So 630 plus 0.5 is equal to 630. 0.5 and option D will be our answer. So now this C is giving you a very small value which is 0.5 and 0.5 you can easily ignore it. So you got 630 and after that you see the option 612 this answer this will not be your answer 578 this cannot be your answer 525 this cannot be your answer C 630. Yes you have already got 630 and the last C will give you a very smaller value which you can ignore it. I mean which no need to calculate it, you will be simply getting the answer. If you use the formula, it will be very much complicated. You see compound interest equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power N, where N is equals to 3 years minus P. If you will put the values here, your calculation will become very much lengthy, right? Question number 2. Question number 2 is also asked in United Bank of India clerical 2008, right? So what will be the compound interest obtained on an amount of 7800? So principal is given, rate is also given 5% and time is also given 3 years, right? So we'll use the formula for the compound interest, 3 years, right? So 3A plus 3B plus C, right? So what is A? A is equal to nothing but P into R by 100. What is P? 7800 into what is R5 and divide by 100, right? Now 3B. So this complete becomes A for us, right? So 3 into 7800 into 5 divided by 100 into R by 100 which is nothing but 5 by 100, right? And C, C is what? B into R by 100. So this is nothing but total B for us into 5 by 100 and into again 5 by 100. See this will again becomes very smaller value. So C can be ignored here but let's try to 
solve it and then see what value we are getting. So 20 will take 20 off. Now 5 into 8 is 40, 5 into 7 is 35 plus 4 is 39 into 3, right? Okay. And then this 20, 20 gone, 5 and 5, 25, 4 times. And if we we'll try to divide this, 3 into 78 and divide by 4, right? So this will be that. You can further divide it, 2 are 2 and 2, 39 times, right? Okay. This 20 will take 20 off. Now 25, 4 times, 5, 20 times, 2, 39 times. So here it will be 39 divided by 40, which will be nothing but equal to somewhat 1. So the value of C will be very small, which can be ignored. Right? Okay. Now see this 0, 3 into 9 is 27, 2, 3 into 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Right? And from here what you will get? Okay. So this will be somewhat, either you can divide it here and multiply or divide. So 3 into 9 is 7 and this divide by 2. So 2 5s are 10 and 2 8s are and 5. So 58.5, right? 5, 8, 2, 2, 1. So 1, 2, 2, 8.5 and this value will be very much a small, right? It will be giving you almost 1. So 1, 2, 2, 8.5 plus 1 will be what? 1, 2, 2, 9 plus 4. So 1228.5 plus 1 will be what? 1229.5. So our option B is somewhat near to that 1229.475. See once you get after adding the first and the second value, I mean 3A plus 3B, what value you are getting? 1228.5, right? And the C value will be very much less, right? It will be near to 1 or less than 1. So you see the near value in the option. So the first option is 1235.685. No, we want near to 1 to 2 it. Now see the C option 1 to 8, 7, it is very much far. Now see the D option 1 to 4 it, that is very much far. Only the option 2 is very much near to 1 to 2 it. And my answer will become what? 1 to 2 it point 5, which is nothing but option B. 1229.475 if when you are not adding C. If you will add C, you will be getting the exact value, right? So, thanks for watching the video.